Okay, here we are. Here's some real serious stuff. This is a Bible study, and this is about hell, okay, otherwise known as Sheol. So, clearly there is a place that we call heaven, and it is in the upper realms. And if there is ever to be a place designated on earth, that would be Jerusalem. That is God's space place territory. That's what people have been fighting over for generations. God's place and space and God, the God of Israel's territory. Okay. Now, also, there is a real place called Sheol or hell. And within that, there is, um, there is scripture that is going to highlight that. And we're talking about Revelation 21, 8. And this is where the, the lake burns of fire and brimstone for all sins. And this whole understanding of Revelation 21, 8 is that we need to come to an agreement and understanding that if, if we continue in our evilness, in our wickedness, in our sinning, then this is an if then statement. If we continue in evil, wickedness and sin, then the place that we go to is hell, Sheol, a place of fire and brimstone. So if you don't want to go to fire and brimstone, you don't want to go to hell, you don't want to go to Sheol, then that means you need to understand what you need to do so that you won't go there. And the first thing that you need to do is number one, you need to surrender. You need to give up control. That means that you living your life the way that you want to live it and the way that you have lived it in the past, you need to give it up. And that means that we need to come to a surrender on our knees if possible. And we need to ask the Lord, and we're talking about the Lord Yeshua, the Lord Jesus, the one who is the son of God, the second Adam, the man that took away the sins of the world, the lamb, the sacrifice, okay? So we are praying to Jesus, to Yeshua, the Messiah, the Christ, and as we pray to him, there is a pathway that is created that gives us access to God the Father, Abba Father, Rafa, Rafa, Jehovah Rafa, the healer, okay? And all of the names of God, Elohim, um, Yahweh, Jehovah, Yah, all the different names of God, okay? We get that direct pathway to God through his son, Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah. So when we surrender and we say something like this, Lord, I've been a sinner. I violated all the 10 commandments. I violated all the biblical principles because I don't even know what they are. I didn't understand that you truly were the true son of God and that you truly are the God of all of the universe. I didn't understand. I'm sorry I didn't understand. Now show me what I need to do to get into alignment with you. And then as you pray this, you will have the opportunity to become aligned with what the Lord has in store for you and your future. Now, it is a prayer of repentance, okay? Lord, help me. I've sinned. Please show me a new way. Please come into my heart. Please come into my mind. Please come into my body. Please fill me up with your Holy Spirit. And Lord, please help me to turn away, Teshuvah, to turn away from sin and turn towards you, Lord, and help me to become a righteous person like you were. Help me to become a kind person like you were. And please, Lord, help me turn away and keep sin uh, at bay, away from me. Lord, bring me into the correct, true alignment that you want me to live in. And I surrender all of myself, all of my possessions, all of everything to you. Now, in that statement, some things are going to happen. Okay? It may not be immediately the same day. It may not be three days later. Maybe it will be. It just depends on you and your circumstances. But something will happen if you truly are coming at a place of surrender. And with that... Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, is going to come into your heart. He's going to start to transform you, transform your, your mind, transform your actions, your behavior, your thoughts, your words, everything, your lifestyle, everything. 
And let's just give an example. Let's say that you were someone who was active in LGBT community. And let's just say that that's what you were all about. And you, your identity, the way that you dress, the way that you showed up in life, the way that you talked, everything was about LGBT, okay? And then all of a sudden you say this prayer and you really mean it. And you really understand that if you don't come to this crossroad, you know, this crossroad, this intersection of, you know, surrender, then you could be in that place of Sheol of fire and brimstone, which you're not gonna like at all. So you're understanding that this is some serious decision making right here. And when you truly surrender and you understand the consequences, then, okay, the Lord is going to come in and start to transform you in your life. Now, if you keep gripping on and holding on to this lifestyle of LGBT, when you just surrender that you know that it's a sin and you're holding on to it like, I don't wanna give it up, I don't wanna give it up, that's not a surrender. You need to let go. You need to let the Lord lead you. And that means you need to take your grippy hands off of everything in your life that is revolving around the LGBT. And that means you need to let go. And that means that everything's going to change. You're going to probably move somewhere. You're probably going to, you know, unhook from all those unhealthy relationships. You're going to have to start over. Is it going to be lonely? Yes. Is it going to take hard work? Yes. Do you think this is a free ride? No, you're going to have to go through all of those milestones of starting over. And guess what? If you continue to lean on the Lord Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, he will bring you into a new life, a life that you never dreamed of, that's way better than what you had before. And I say this with conviction because who I was before is not who I am now. So the whole idea is that transformation is totally possible and you can save yourself from that fire and brimstone when you truly understand what, I, what I'm saying about belief and belief in the one true God through the Son of God, Jesus, Yeshua the Messiah. So the invitation is there for you. What you do with it is on you. This is not about me judging you. This is about an invitation for you to get in alignment with who the God of Israel is, what he expects, what he deems as abomination, and for you to get into the right alignment with Abba Father. And when you do that, everything changes. Have a good one, everyone.